For this module, I will discuss other tools to help with overcoming ED. We will discuss the following topics, devices and aids, including sex toys, prostate massage, pelvic exercises, sensual touch. There are several devices or sex toys that can help with ED. Vacuum erection devices, also known as penis pumps, are devices used to assist in achieving an erection. They work by creating negative pressure or suction around the penis, which helps draw blood into the erectile tissues, resulting in an erection. To use a vacuum erection device, a penis is inserted into a cylindrical tube that forms a seal around the base of the penis. When the device is activated, it creates a vacuum or negative pressure inside the tube, causing blood to flow into the penis and creating an erection. A constriction ring or band can be placed at the base of the penis to maintain the erection once the device is removed. Uh, we will discuss more about these rings later in this module. Vacuum erection devices can be obtained with a prescription from a physician through a durable medical equipment stores. They can also be purchased from uh, adult novelty stores or online. Although it is important to ensure that any devices purchased meets uh, safety standards and is of good quality. It is recommended to consult a healthcare provider before using a vacuum erection device to determine if it is a suitable option. And it's also important to follow the instructions provided by the manufacturer. There are different types of penis pumps. Now manual pumps typically consist of a cylindrical tube that is placed over the penis along with an attached bulb or hand pump. To create the vacuum or negative pressure, one would manually pump the bulb or squeeze the hand pump, which removes the air from inside the tube and creates the suction necessary for drawing blood into the penis and producing an erection. Now, These manual pumps allow to control the amount of suction or pressure applied to the penis by adjusting the pumping action. Now, this can help customize the level of pressure that works best in achieving and maintaining an erection. Electrical pumps are battery-powered penis pumps designed to create the necessary vacuum or negative pressure for producing an erection. They typically consist of a cylindrical tube that is placed over the penis, similar to manual pumps. But instead of manually pumping a bulb or hand pump, an electric motor or battery-operated mechanism generates the suction. Now with electrical pumps, one can activate the pumping action with the push of a button or switch, allowing a more convenient and automated process compared to manual pumping. The device will create the required suction to draw blood into the penis and facilitate an erection. Hydro pumps utilize the power of water to create the necessary pumping pressure for achieving an erection. These devices typically consist of a transparent cylinder that is filled with water. The penis is inserted into the cylinder and then the water is drained out through a valve or similar mechanism, creating a vacuum or negative pressure inside the cylinder. The hydro pump's design allows for water to create a more even and gentle suction compared to traditional air-based vacuum pumps. Now this can provide a comfortable and effective means of generating an erection. Constriction rings, also known as penis rings or cock rings, are devices that are placed around the base of the penis to help maintain an erection. They are typically used after achieving an erection, often with the assistance of a penis pump. The main function of a penis ring is to restrict the blood flow out of the penis, keeping the blood trapped inside the erectile tissues. Now, This can help sustain the erection for a longer period. By maintaining the engorgement of the penis, 
It may enhance sexual performance and prolong the duration of an erection. It is crucial to ensure that the penis ring is properly fitted and not too tight. A ring that is too tight can cause discomfort, pain, or even injury. It's recommended to choose a ring size that provides a snug fit without constricting the blood flow excessively. It is also important to use a penis ring for a limited duration. Prolonged use of a penis ring can restrict blood flow for an extended period, which may have adverse effects on penile health. Experts typically advise not wearing a penis ring for more than 20 to 30 minutes at a time and taking breaks in between uses. Always consult a proper professional about the appropriate use of penis rings. Constriction rings or penis rings come in various materials, shapes, and designs to suit individual preferences and provide different types of stimulation. Now here are some common variations. Material. Constriction rings can be made from different materials such as silicone, leather, metal, or a combination of materials. Each material offers different sensations and levels of comfort. Shape. The shape of the ring can vary, ranging from smooth and round to ribbed or textured. Now, some rings may have additional features like bumps, ridges, or raised patterns to enhance stimulation for both partners during sexual activity. Stimulation. Certain constriction rings come with additional features to provide extra stimulation. For example, some rings may have built-in vibrations or be designed to be compatible with a remote control, allowing for added sensations and convenience during use. Now, when using a constriction ring, it's important to consider personal preferences, comfort, and safety. Opt for a ring made from body-safe materials and ensure that it fits properly without causing discomfort or constriction that is too tight. It's also crucial to follow the manufacturer's instructions and guidelines for safe usage. Male masturbators are devices or sex toys designed to enhance self-pleasure for individuals with a penis. They can be purchased at various sex toy venues, both locally and online. Male masturbators come in a wide range of types, variations, and features to cater to different preferences and desires. Now here are some common aspects. Sleeves and textures. Male masturbators often feature sleeves made of soft and textured materials that simulate the sensations of vaginal, oral, and anal sex. These textures can vary, providing different levels of stimulation and intensity. Vibrations. Some male masturbators are equipped with vibrating mechanisms, delivering additional sensations and stimulation to the genitals. Now, vibrators may come in different shapes and sizes, including wand or bullet-shaped designs. Sizes and portability. Male masturbators come in various sizes to accommodate different penis lengths and girths. Additionally, some models are designed to be compact and portable, allowing for discrete storage and travel. Virtual Experiences Advancements in technology have led to the development of virtual main masturbators, which can synchronize with virtual reality, VR, or interactive content for a more immersive experience. It is recommended to apply lubricant to enhance comfort and reduce friction. Water-based lubricants are generally safe to use with most materials, but it's important to check the manufacturer's recommendation for compatibility. Vibrators for men are sex toys designed to provide vibration and stimulation to the male genitals and other erogenous zones. While vibrators are often associated with female pleasure, there are several options available for men as well. And here are some common types of vibrators for men. Wand vibrators. These are larger handheld vibrators that typically have a vibrating head. They can be used to stimulate the penis, testicles, perineum, 
or other sensitive areas of the body. Bullet vibrators. Bullet-shaped vibrators are small and compact, making them versatile and easy to use. They can be applied to the penis, scrotum, or other erogenous zones to provide focused stimulation. Penis rings with vibration. Penis rings, or cock rings, with vibrating elements can be worn around the base of the penis and testicles. They provide both constriction to maintain an erection and vibrating stimulation for enhanced pleasure. Like with other devices, consult a proper professional about the appropriate use of these devices. Prostate massagers and anal plugs, also known as butt plugs, are sex toys designed for anal stimulation. Now here are some key points to consider. The prostate gland is a gland and is located just inside and in front of the rectum wall, sometimes known as the P-spot or male G-spot. It's a sensitive area that can provide pleasurable sensations when stimulated. Now, stimulating this area can enhance sexual pleasure and potentially help with the blood flow to the groin and penis. Prostate stimulation may help with nerve repair in the pelvic area as it can promote blood circulation and nerve sensitivity. However, it's important to note that any potential therapeutic effects should be discussed with healthcare professionals. When choosing a prostate massager or anal plug, it's crucial to select a toy that is specifically designed for anal use. These devices are typically designed with a flare base or handle to prevent them from getting fully inserted and stuck inside the rectum, which could lead to medical complications. Lubrication. Using an appropriate lubricant is essential for anal plate to ensure smooth and comfortable insertion. Water-based lubricants are commonly recommended for the use with sex toys and are compatible with most materials. Avoid using oil-based lubricants as they can degrade certain materials and increase the risk of tearing or damaging the tissues in the anus. Communication, consent, and proper hygiene are also important aspects to consider when engaging in anal play. Here are pictures of devices and aids we had previously discussed. A male masturbator, a vibrator, a prostate massager, and an anal plug. A prostate massage can be performed manually using a finger. A prostate massage is typically performed by a partner or a trained professional. The person performing the massage should wear a clean glove and use plenty of water-based lubricant for comfort and ease of insertion. The finger is inserted into the anus a few inches until the prostate is reached. It is important to proceed slowly and communicate with the recipient to ensure comfort and relaxation. Various massage techniques can be used, including gentle pressure, circular motion, back and forth motions, or a come here motion with the finger. The specific technique may vary based on individual preference. Prostate massage should be avoided in individuals with prostatic infections, acute prostatitis, prostate cancer, or individuals with hemorrhoids. It's always important to consult with a healthcare professional before attempting prostate massage to ensure it is safe and appropriate for each person's specific situation. A prostate massage can be a pleasurable and potentially therapeutic practice for some individuals. However, it is important to approach it with caution, proper communication, and consideration of any underlying health conditions. If one has any concerns or questions, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional. Here is a diagram of a prostate. The prostate is just inside the rectum a few inches and normally about the size of a walnut. Let's talk about Kegel exercises. 
Kegel exercises are a type of exercise that can help strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, which are located in the groin area. These exercises can help with obtaining and maintaining erections. The initial step is to first identify the pelvic floor muscles. Now, you can do this by first identifying the muscles you use to urinate or to pee, and then identifying the muscles you use to defecate or to poop. Now the area between these two muscles is the pelvic floor muscles. Once you identify these muscles, choose a comfortable position to perform the exercises, such as lying down, sitting, or standing. Contract the pelvic floor muscles by squeezing them. Hold the squeeze for a few seconds, aiming for a comfortable duration. It's important not to strain or tense other muscles during the exercise. After holding the squeeze, release the contraction and relax the muscles completely. Repeat the squeeze and release cycle for several sets, gradually increasing the number of repetitions over time. Now aim for at least three sets of 10 repetitions each day. It's important to perform Kegel exercise regularly and be consistent to see results. Incorporate them into your daily routine to maintain the strength of the pelvic floor muscles. By regularly practicing Kegel exercises, you can strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, which may help improve erectile function. If you have any specific concerns or questions, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized guidance. Engaging in sensual touch can also improve erectile functioning. This can be performed as solo through masturbation or by a partner or both, whatever one is comfortable with depending on personal preference and desires. Sensual touch arouses both the brain and the body. Sexual stimulation activates the brain's pleasure centers leading to increased arousal and desire. It can be a holistic experience that involves both physical and mental sensations. A touch can help reduce stress and anxiety, providing a means of relaxation and pleasure. Additionally, focusing on stimulating sensitive areas of the body can enhance sensations and overall sexual satisfaction. Sensual touch, particularly when focused on the genital area, can enhance blood flow circulation to the penis. Now, improved blood flow is crucial for achieving and sustaining an erection. When engaging in sensual touch, it is important to recognize the areas of the body that are sensitive and can contribute to pleasurable sensations, aka erogenous zones. Now, these areas include the penis, testicles, nipples, buttocks, perineum, which is the area between the scrotum and anus, as well as the neck, face, arms, hands, fingers, legs, feet, toes, and head. Identifying, exploring, and stimulating these sensitive areas can enhance the experience of sensual touch and contribute to overall sexual pleasure. Sensual touch can be performed through various techniques, including touching, tapping, rubbing, kissing, and licking. These techniques can be used to stimulate the sensitive areas of the body and create pleasurable sensations. It is important to approach sensual touch with a relaxed and gentle mindset, allowing for a comfortable and enjoyable experience and lead to more fulfilling sensations. In summary, determine if devices and aids, such as sex toys, can enhance the ability to achieve and maintain erections. Also, consider if prostate massages and massagers can help improve blood flow to the penis. Think about practicing Kegel exercises to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles to support erectile function. Ponder about practicing central touch, including masturbation, to stimulate sensitive areas of the body as well as increase arousal and sensation to aid in achieving erections. In the bonus module, we will discuss the next level of options if the holistic and natural approach does not work. 
And this includes non-invasive treatments, such as PDE5 inhibitor medications, as well as shockwave therapy. We will also discuss invasive treatments, such as penis injections, penile implants, and PRP injections.